be the goal. You trying to grow, grow, grow. Stack up on your knowledge, get some more, more. Oh, you need academy? Let me know. Let me know, and I'ma turn you up for show. Oh, you trying to grow, grow? I thought you said this was supposed to be a reunion. What are we doing out here in the woods? No, I'm not trying to grow. Still, I'm not trying to grow. What are we supposed to grow with? The, the bears? The fuck? I'm trying to watch out for this bitch named Kashmir. That bitch know that I'm wearing boots with the fur, so she gonna come for me first. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, shit, then she gonna... Hey, hey. What's going on, entertain? So today I'm coming to you guys with another video. Y'all gotta film a new intro soon. Just stay tuned, okay? It's gonna be a funny one. All right, it's gonna be a <laughs> y'all go Okay. First, I wanted to get into you guys is the mint trailer. They did drop the mint trailer, and um, I just want to give them a little bit of my thoughts on it. What I found funny about the trailer was they put it's nothing like that other show. Okay, so they're clearly shaded Johnson's cabaret. Okay, so that was a little funny part of the trailer. The only thing with this show, I still do not get the full concept of the mint. Okay, like you know, it, it's it's a package of gum that like I, I'm missing. I'm missing the the gum pieces inside of it. Okay, what what's the mint? You know me because I thought it was supposed to be a show where they're trying to get the girls out of the strip club. From what I see from this trailer, it looks like they're getting strip club tips and tricks. And to conquer a strip club. That's what it kind of looks like. And also dealing with their personal issues while at it. That's what the trailer kind of gave to me. Um, there was, of course, a lot of fights, a lot of thumping in there. Not going to lie, um, Jessica was serving a little bit of Jocelyn in some scenes. She told Ferrari to, you know, you know, why you got them shades on? Why you talking to me? And there was a particular scene, okay, with a ski mask. So I don't know what the girls were doing with that ski mask, but it's given that y'all was going to attack some girls. It's given gang up. That's what it was given from the trailer, okay? And something that crazy that happened in the trailer that I think is going to be the biggest key of them all, one of the girls ended up crapping on themselves. The last time we seen on reality television was Flavor of Love when Flavor Flav said, I smell ish. Remember when Flavor Flav smelled that? That that booty juice, and he was sniffing it around, and then we found out who did it. It was something, okay. So that to me is gonna be a key. So that I can't wait to see. Um, of course, there's a whole bunch of fights throughout the show, and there's one girl in particular where it looks like she getting picked off. It's the girl with the braids for me. She was getting muka bak buka baka boo throughout the whole trailer. So what's up with that? Cause that's gonna be real embarrassing when it airs. Okay, I'm not. I'm going. I'm. I will say this though: the dynamics of the girls. I'm surprised because I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than what I saw. So I do like a lot of the girls they ended up picking because the dynamics don't look as regular as they do on some of their other shows. So I will say they did a good job with picking some of the girls on the show. So I'm excited to see what it's going to bring. Of course, it's gonna be heavily compared to the cabaret. So you already know how that's gonna go. Uh, Ferrari did go on Instagram and have something to say just about, you know, the whole shade situation because she did have her shades on, you know, during the trailer. She said, when I have my shades on, I'm intoxicated. Season one, The Mint airs August 27th. Ferrari, are you still scripting? I want to know. I don't think Ferrari still still worked the pole no more. I, I, I just want I'm wondering that. All right. Uh, next, I wanted to get into you guys is the Playboys reunion. So they dropped the trailer the other day. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Dre, baby, shout out to you. Okay. He got active off of B Guy. Shout out to you. Okay. I was shook. I said, I Dre, baby, get active. Big mama, big stepper. Heavy feet never left her. Swinging on the girls, Hugh Hefner. Ah, I cried. Dre Baby was getting active. He was throwing punches, okay? He was breaking glass. Y'all know he's infamous for that, breaking glass and, and cut a, a bee <laughs> once or twice. So what I think of the trailer, though, the part that I think was the most iconic was when uh, Isaiah walked in. Not gonna lie, that was cute, Isaiah. Okay, when he walked in with his college uh hill jacket on with his boyfriend, and he was like, But they talking about me, they keep talking about me. 
Okay, they keep seeing my breath, keep, my breath sticking. They keep talking about me. Okay, now that part was funny. I ain't gonna lie, that was a little bit of a game to have him sort of walk in and you know do him a big one with the boyfriend. Okay, I was surprised. Fun dip was getting uh you know slipped over and, and flipped over and slung around like a uh, like a roly pole. Okay. Fun dip was a fun slide because every time we seen him in the trailer, he was either getting slid, flung around, plopped around. So that part shocked me. There's rumors that Ant did him a big one and made sure that the girlies respected his name. So shout out to you, big Ant, not the little one, for really owning and getting your respect during this reunion. And apparently, uh, what we see from the trailer, Ma and Isaiah ended up getting into it. And uh, apparently, you know. Isaiah did him his a big one with Mal as well. See, Ma, you can't be everybody, okay? So you're not off limits, okay? You just you just all the time just can't be that dude, all right? What did you guys think about the trailer? I think it was really really good. Um, just based off the edit that I saw, um, I'm surprised that they kind of filmed it like this, and I'm happy that they're gonna continue, I guess, filming it like this, where they kind of meet up at a house before they end up going on a reunion stage because I think when they just go straight on a reunion stage, all you just going to get is fights and a whole bunch of yelling. So I'm kind of glad that they're changing it to the format where it's kind of like a weekend versus like a, a one day type of thing. Okay. J baby did go live and address some of the things that he saw at the reunion. And he, I guess went there with the pretenses of not getting active. So he was surprised when funded, you know, hop, in that reunion, it was coming for his jugular. Getting me emotional because, like, I told y'all, like, y'all know I was, I said, I don't want to fight none of them girls. I don't want to be in none of that situation because I got my own situation going on. Like, I, I had so much going on at that time. I was literally there just a kid. He was the tease. Now, that these girls didn't like me. I knew they was going to try to do the most. So I was like, girl, at least, okay, if they fight me, I get a fair one. This bitch comes in and sneaks me. And y'all wonder why I got a hickey. I mean, a knot. She snuck me. Oh, I was she... about to say a hickey. What was going on in the Playboy house? Let me find out. Uh, Fun Dip turned into Dracula. It was going for your carotid artery. <laughs> Remember when Mama D said that? She said, if I was Dracula, I'll bite you on your neck and drain you for all of it, bitch. I thought Fun Dip was doing one of those. Okay, okay, okay. Like, she like, hit me with, I don't know, it was something. Oh, I got to watch it in slow-mo. She had something. Like, they sped it up, but I got to see what she hit me with. This is when she first hit me. So she hit me with her left. And this is how the hickey came. Well, the knot. Not, I keep saying hickey. Not. This is how the knot came. I think she had something on. I got to see it back. Maybe she didn't. Maybe she just hit me hard enough and went so I had it. Well, her, well, okay, I got a knot. She snuck me. Y'all, it's giving, y'all, like, y'all, like, come on, like, bitch. She snuck me, regardless of which how y'all gonna put it. You still did you a big one, Dre baby. And listen, the only knot that's memorable on Not As TV is Judy's knot. Okay, Judy had more knots than Lauren did when Krishan knocked upside her head. Okay, that's the only knot we acknowledge on Not As TV. <laughs> it's Judy. Okay, um, I'm wondering if you guys want Barbie on Zodiac House season three. Okay, she a that. Babby, we are that babby, bad bitch, bad bitch, bad bitch, baddest of the baddest. I want to see you back. <laughs> okay, so SoCal Barbie, y'all said, y'all want to see me turn up on Zodiac House? Laughing out loud, whole time. I don't know, I don't know. Because I just feel like Bougie Nina is my, my, you know, do get you in a little bit of a, a setup situation. And it might not land the best, okay? Miss I'm Bougie Nina might, you know, bring next thing, you know, uh, Car not Kardashian. Yeah, Kardashian may pop up because I don't think Kardashian too much likes Barbie or, you know, maybe like a, a sky will pop up. Next thing you know, your hair is pulled whole time. So I don't know if you want to go down that road. OK, Barbie, do y'all want to see her on Zodiac House? I do want to see Barbie back on Odyssey Vito. I don't know if it got to be Zodiac House, but I do want to see her back in some capacity. All right. Speaking of Bougie Nina, okay, Bougie Nina has had a glove lately. I got to give Bougie Nina her flowers. Y'all know I'm not no hater, okay? Bougie Nina has had a glow up. I don't know if she is shopping in the expensive aisle in Timu or what, but the wig be laid, the makeup be done, and the outfits be sitting. 
I don't know what has been up with Bujanina lately, but she said season three is coming and so am I glow up. So recently she went on live and addressed some of the big three because they've been having some issues with their cast and they show not dropped yet. So she feels as if this is their karma because some of the people that she cast for the show has been on the big three and they're giving them issues. So she feels, how does it feel now? Uh, they cast it for the big three. And because I blocked, I'm blocked all my haters. Because today I decided to unblock all my haters. I noticed that it's a lot of drama going on on the internet. And yes, I did give her back the bougie name. Y'all know since then Brie did win the fight, she did lose bougie out of the Nina part. But now because she's you know giving off bad B energy, I give I'm giving her the bougie back. Okay, so congrats to you, uh, bougie Nina. It's a lot of the same ass bullshit that I was going through with the same motherfuckers. It's the same motherfuckers that was. It's the same motherfucker that I casted for my season two and kicked to the curb before I even started filming. Y'all having problems with the same motherfuckers. Y'all having the same exact problems that I was having with the same motherfuckers on my show. So it's like, it's crazy how the table turned. Now let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. Big three, big CEOs, big this, big that. How does it feel? How does it feel to be accused of some shit that you ain't said? Ooh. How does it feel to be accused of some shit that you ain't do? Ooh. How does it feel to be accused of some shit that you know damn well is not the truth? Listen, Bougie Nina be talking like she she's she's doing a, a TED talk. <laughs> TED talk by Bougie Nina. How does it feel? How does it feel to be in my shoes? Now y'all screaming out, ooh, fuck season one, fuck season one. What you mean? What you mean? Fuck season one, fuck the pilot. What you mean? No, no yeah, thank you. Okay, go out, Bougie Nina. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, the only person that could say F season one is Bougie Nina. She started the trend. Don't y'all be trying to copy Bougie Nina. I know that's right. You better own your quote. No, keep that. Run that. Run it. Okay. This is why you kind of have to watch with certain stuff that you say. Because now there was, I remember it was at one point, I felt, I feel like just watching that network, there was a hate train against Bougie Nina. I know what she did on season two wasn't the best, and I didn't like it with the whole sister situation, but I feel like people started to hate her for more than just the sister situation. They just started to hate her entire being. So, now that, you know, there's other people on the fire, you know, Bougie Nina is starting to stunt. Hopefully her season three live up to what she's living it up to. Because, you know, I want the girl to win. I want her to win. You mean? All right. So uh, one last thing I wanted to get into, guys. Were you guys shocked that Michelle did not get casted on Baddies East? A lot of people were putting her on their, like, wish list and thought that she was going to, you know, get on there because of some of the people that she was hanging around before Baddies East cash off. She was hanging around the Natalie's, you know, the Scotty's in them. So a lot of people felt like she was going to make it on Baddies East, but unfortunately she did it. Do you guys think it was due to the connection with Not TV or what? I didn't think she was going to get casted. I'm just saying. Uh, I wasn't surprised she didn't either because I checked the comments on the zoo stuff and like, I didn't see her name in there like at all. Okay. Let me know what you guys think down below about this time. What do you guys think about both trailers? Comment down below and we out, babies. Ain't no personal thing.